Hey, how's it going? Eddie Martinez here with the Recording Ready on Film Connection, and welcome back to another Logic Pro X sound design tutorial. Now, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make a really cool, uh, bassy sounding, detuned synth. So let's go ahead and begin. Uh, first thing we're going to want to do is uh, select a new instrument. So we can go to our top right here, grab ourselves a new instrument. Cool. And we're also going to want to go over here to the very top of our channel strip, go to Reset Channel Strip. Cool, now we got a fresh brand new strip. And we're gonna go to our instrument rack, go to our ES2 synthesizer, then stereo. Now, right now we are at our factory default, so let's go to our tutorial settings and go up to analog saw unison. Cool, now that we're here, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick listen. I'm sorry if that was a bit loud, let me go ahead and just bring this down just a little bit. Okay, so this is our sound that we have and um, that we're working with. First thing we're going to want to do is go to our cutoff in our filter section and bring this all the way down. So we have this kind of a sound. Cool. Next thing we're going to want to do is go over to our oscillator number one and go to our tuning section right here and bring this down two octaves to negative uh, 24 semitones. Let's go ahead and compare our sound. So now we're actually going places now. It's a, a big difference. Okay, so next thing we're going to want to do is go to our filter again. We're going to go to fat. And make that just a little bit bigger. Next, what we're going to want to do is uh, kind of add a little bit more uh, depth, a little more deepness with our subsonic sounds. If you're wearing headphones, this, you're definitely going to be able to hear the difference here. Uh, we're going to move this up a little bit. So right in the halfway point, that's when you really hear a lot. But when you really hear it the most is if you're listening to, uh, you know, listening to this through a pair of studio monitor monitors or through headphones, you'll really notice a difference when I sustain the note. So if you're also looking over here at the mixer, you'll see some fluctuations going on here, which is pretty, pretty, pretty nice to hear, especially if you are using this in a live application, you could just imagine the sound coming through uh, a nice pair of, uh, you know, giant speakers. This would sound like uh, it is coming. The sound is traveling through the air and into your body. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so anyways, uh, let's go ahead and move on. Uh, we're nearly done. All we're going to do is just uh, play around a little bit with our release on our third envelope. And also uh, on our envelope number two, we're going to go ahead and change the velocity. So uh, what, what that's going to do, that's going to make it so that there's different, I guess, uh, pressures and different sounds that you'll actually hear uh, when you play a key. So if you play it softly, you'll hear a different type of tonality. If you strike your key really hard, you'll hear a completely different tonality than if you struck it softly. So let's go ahead and bring this up. So this will, this means basically we're going to have more range in our, our, our sound because when we play our notes, uh, we, we don't tend to hit our notes exactly the same. Sometimes we play with a little bit more enthusiasm and uh, these small subtleties will be more apparent uh, when you bring up the velocity on envelope number two. Now we're gonna go ahead and play around a little bit with our release just to make sure that it sounds good. And then we're pretty much done. We'll talk about uh, you know adding some extras uh, in a minute once we're done playing around with our release. cool so I like it right there so as for you know these extras what we could do to make this even bigger or just more interesting we can go over here to our audio effects and down to delay and to our stereo delay and even just a factory setting sounds pretty cool let's go ahead and bring that up so we can play around with this velocity kind of give it more all 
right guys, so that's how you make a really cool sounding detuned bass sound in Logic Pro X using a bit of sound design. Now, if you guys liked the video, go ahead and leave your comments and thoughts down below. Greatly appreciate that. Of course, uh, if you want to show more love for us, go ahead and subscribe to our channel or check us out at www.recordingconnection.com. As always, I'm Eddie Martinez, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace. Mm -hmm.